the black man has hard a hard time with his reproduction. We have a lot of gangsters and thugs who have taken on a Greco-Roman philosophy and they get pussy. Oh, they have bad bitches. You see them shaking at the club and, you know, the club is a tense place where people with a snake philosophy go to beat up other people and to try to control reproduction on behalf of the white man. What's this nigga wearing? Nigga, where you from, cuh? Come correct. You know why? What does that do? You know, conform to our Greco-Roman Masonic culture of gangsterism. Right? Or you're going to get packed out. And there's certain elements of being black, like, you know, dreadlocks and cornrows and so on, right? But it is the nine at best. It's more like the six, right? They're making you conform. If you're a black man, you're selling for an ugly bitch or you're trying to be a thug and, and, and you're getting packed out and shot and going to prison, you know, trying to get a Babylonian black whore feminist from Oakland or something and you're being a thug, right? And they're saying, oh, I like this guy. He's a thug. He's, you know, we need to come together and push our APEP feminist communist philosophy together. Okay, you see how things work? And what does that do for people like me who are men of God from the line of Judah? Oh, just because you're an Igbo doesn't mean you're better than us. No, it's because you took on an inferior philosophy. You denied Christ. You communist, feminist, baby-killing, eugenicist-supporting, occultist, little sniveling complex-having harlot whore. You little hussy. Now be gone. Where's my harlot be gone spray? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Makes the same noise as you whores make when you talk, you hissing slut. Hey, hey, don't slut shame. Shut up. Okay, okay, I'm a bitch, and you have the spirit of God. I'm sorry. You don't see these bitches debating me, cuz? Well, I bet you they're doing a little bitch shit behind the scenes. Oh, that's right. <laughs> because geeks, women, and gays do bitch shit. That's why it's bitch shit behind the scenes. Right, right, right. That's why I'm Heru, and you're a bunch of bitches, right? Trying to make yourselves look good. When you know that every woman would come to me naturally. He's the pharaoh, the greatest warrior. He's so smart. He's so religious. Oh, versus, look at this sniveling fucking... Albert Einstein looking leper, <laughs> you know, who has used his network to put him up, you know, you get that little maggot out of here, man, old hook nose rat, right? Think about it. What do you think women naturally prefer, you know, Bob Marley types, Tyrese types, or some Bill Gate Kissinger types? Who do you think was the jealous one? These are the jealous maggots that went in hidden caves with the satanic pagans, okay? That's who they are. And you, you think they're better than me? That you're going to suck their dick in their corporation? You're going to settle for what is Caesar's? And you think some fat hippo pig fucking bitches should tell me who to date? When they can't even fucking maintain their weight? Are you fucking kidding me? And they want to, oh, they want to talk about Buddhism and having a balance. And they can't even find one person, billions of people in the world who are supporting these Eastern philosophies. And you can't find one fucking person to beat me at a debate or to beat me at martial arts in the most traditional competition in the country with the most martial arts schools in the world. Look, they're the jealous, pale, shriveled dick maggots who have to dehydrate black people, you know, get them to drink soda so their dick is smaller. You heard it from me first. Your body is water. Okay. When I was dehydrated, yes, my dick did shrink. And I'm sad that I have to fucking give too much. No, it is the info you need to know. They are doing things to not only make black people shrink in height by doing eugenics and trying to make it seem like, you know, doing things that make it hard for tall people, the way they make cars and airplane seats and everything. So they can turn around and say, hey, you know, short people are a better fit for this world. That's part of the reason why we're doing eugenics in the first place. Okay. Oh, they, they require less resources, right? But if that was their argument was truly correct, then why do they say don't fat shame? And then why is there a bunch of fat fucks rolling with them? Because it's not about what their, their argument. They don't believe their own argument. 
They just want money and power and for women to respect these, these little skinny, little cowardly little men and these fat idiots, you know, who work as bodyguards for them and security guards for them and cops and military. Think about the military, right? They're kind of these bigger guys, right? And when they retire, they become these kind of pot belly, kind of big round guys. Because when they're in the military, they're carrying a lot of weight and they're doing a lot of marching with backpacks. When they come out, they're kind of these fat conformist little pussies. So the government, the military, the police, the, the women, the, the geeks, the fags, they all have vested interest in, make, in dumbing women down so they don't like me. And they say, hey, I don't care if what you're saying is true. You're making it harder for us to survive and to get women. Well, my people are dying by the millions because of your complexes. And we could do things in a way that was fair to begin with. You've dug your own ditch. And I point out that you've dug your own ditch and that you're bringing my people down with you. And you think I should shut up because I'm making you look bad? Any black person who agrees with their argument on this issue ought to be so ashamed of themselves, there's no words for it. I feel sorry that you're such a pitiful form of life that you think I should take their stance and let black people settle for ugly women from their race while they take the best women from our races. You know, I know this. I know this. This is how it works. This is what they intend to do. This is what they've been doing. You think I should, oh, you know, get black people to settle for annoying Babylonian evil whores if they're a gang member or something in a secret society or something, or to settle for fat, ugly bitches from their race and others, you know, and that is fair to them, right? They're saying, you're not, you're not being fair to us fat people and us little people. No, you stupid fucks. You're not being fair by not admitting that mind, body, and soul proves people like me deserve the best women. That is human progress. When the most deserving men get the most beautiful women, that is human progress. What you're doing is human complex. Look, I'm not racist, okay? There's one gay Asian guy who seems gay who works at a club. He probably has a different religion than I do. I don't have a problem with him. You know, we interact in a way that was pretty civil, even though he probably is aware of what's going on, and I certainly am. Um, so even when they know that you're from a different temple and you're mad. We don't have to be enemies. Okay, we can do this reproduction thing in a way that's fair for everyone. But you need to st we need to start off by admitting several things. One, there comes a time to kill. And that's why military life was linked to God, you know, to the temple. It was a central part of temple life. The Buddhists aren't the only ones who came up with the conclusion, they came up with the idea that we need, <clears throat> that they need to defend the temple. The land of Ptah was the temple, was one temple, and then there's temples within the temple, right? The land itself, the black land, the sacred ground of Egypt. So the different temples also competed and tried to show each other using which animal principles can which group of people defend the sacred temple of Egypt the best, okay? So we're talking about reproduction now. Let's fast forward. You'll connect it yourself. I don't have to explain it. I don't have to connect the dots, especially women, right? You're supposed to connect the dots. People like me give you the dots. Make no mistake, men give you the dots and you connect them and apply them in a way that we approve of or you are punished spiritually, physically, and mentally. And that's why a lot of women are raped these days because they are being punished as a group for what they're doing as a group. And I'm not saying rape is right. Listen carefully. It is cause and effect, okay? When you betray the natural order, <clears throat> bad things happen. When you divide a house and it does not stand, you do not start crying about, hey, it's not our fault. Bitch, you divided the house, you let the serpent in the temple. Sit down and shut up. You feel, because you felt disrespected, you let the serpent in the temple, and you think we're supposed to come back on our knees and say, we're sorry, baby? No, we're gonna say, bitch, get in your fucking place. The reason why you betrayed us is not something we're going to accommodate, you stupid whores. Why the fuck would we? We're going to punish you more. Think about it. It's like saying, hey, you know what? I thought your daughter was cute. That's why I raped her, right? Is the answer to say, you know what? Oh, I understand. Here, have this beautiful girl and I forgive you. Or do you beat the fucking shit out of him and cut out his eyes and say, do you think the bitch is cute now? You're starting to get it? 
And women think we're supposed to come back on our knees saying, oh, sorry, baby, that you felt like you, you, you were being shunned or something. And you slept with the Babylon and Apep and did fertility rituals with them. We're sorry that, we, you know, we, 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 you, we, you felt disrespected by God's laws. And you were curious about the snake's fertility rituals, you know, and their cults. We're sorry, baby. No, fuck that shit. Anyway, so we all need to understand that we need the truth before we proceed. And anyone who covers it up, anyone who's a bull, Greek or otherwise, needs to be stomped out hard, put on trial, and executed. Okay? These are problems that affect over 7 billion people. If you lie and keep us from addressing the problem while millions of people die every year, well, I'm not going to... You know, you don't deserve a pat on the back. You're not going to get a slap on the fucking wrist if you get my drift. That's how it should be. That is justice. Something that the West knows nothing about. Just like love, right? Everyone knows their court system is a joke. Everyone knows there's a bunch of gold-digging whores in America. And you're going to sit there like Greco-Roman culture... Like this Babylonian culture that has corrupted Western culture, that has tainted, that has permanently scarred, and has just destroyed. Not just a little blemish, mind you. Just absolutely Swiss cheesed and made moldy Western culture. Okay? And we see, it, we see the effects of it. We're in debt because it's such a greedy, shallow society. We're spend, spend, spend. We're all in debt. You know, the only ones are, who are in debt... Whoever, you know, are people who went to college, right? The only people who ever have a virtuous debt because they at least were trying to do the right thing and they felt like, hey, this might be a good option. But most people are just greasy, you know, fucking consumer fucking hippos and pigs, right? That's why they're called pigs because they're supporting a consumer society where there's a bunch of swine and swine is detestable to God. Jesus cast out the demon from the pig. We need to cast out the demons from the pigs and get them to see the light. So that the piglets are raised right. So what can be done, right? Well, let's start off by saying this. Let me start off with the clip. We'll make the intro. We'll just end.